Here's a list of some of the top lies. This was from Town Hall. Some of the top lies of uh, 2020. Oh. Uh, number one, these aren't in any actual order of which was the worst lie. But uh, the, the number one lie of uh, to- the first lie of 2020, lockdowns are worth it. <laughs> Please note the care with which I phrase the above. I'm not saying lockdowns don't work, at least temporarily. Theoretically, if every human being on the planet had somehow managed, magically been able to lock themselves away for a month, then maybe the virus could have been smothered before it got a foothold. Sure, millions more would have died from the lockdowns. <laughs> But we'd have stopped COVID-19. Island nations like New Zealand and even Australia have been able to fight off the virus so far with strict containment measures and border control. For a while, even parts of Europe were able to stave it off. Of course, we'll all know what eventually happened in Germany, Italy, the UK, Spain, California, and countless other places that used destructive lockdowns to delay the inevitable, which is exactly what happened. Maybe a hard pill to swallow, but lockdowns aren't worth it not even a little uh the second big lie a asymptom- asymptomatic spread is a major driver of covid19 transmission this is one i love because they told us for how long uh you might not even know you you're sick and you'll be spreading it to the elderly and killing them dead on the spot yeah uh then it turned out especially this latest uh chinese survey well the chinese can't be trusted not with this, anyway. They can be trusted completely when they give us the numbers of, uh, of their COVID infections. Those, those are completely accurate. And, uh, and so are their denials that the virus started there. But you can't trust them when it comes to asymptomatic spread. Uh, they have just determined... What was it? They infected... There was a thousand people infected in this uh, latest trial by the Chinese, and uh, a certain amount of people transmitted it. Not one of them came. Not one of them came from an asymptomatic person. So no persons without symptoms spread it to people who didn't have the disease. And we were told. Over and over and over in 2020 that you can, you can spread it when you don't even know you're spreading it. Even if you don't have symptoms, you're spreading it. Well, no. Now it turns out that if you don't have symptoms, that probably means your viral load is not high enough to pass it on to anybody else. Amazing. Uh, number three, health officials should make public policy decisions. If there was ever a time when the saying... When all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, is completely apropos, it's now. Health officials may not know anything about operating a business, running a school, keeping an economy from collapsing, or preventing deaths from despair. But they sure do know, or think they know, how to stop the spread of COVID-19. Yeah, but we've seen that's just not the case. Uh, Line number four. Systemic or systematic police racism exists remember when a drug addled man died while in police custody from what turned out to be a heart attack Mm -hmm. Uh, granted leaning on his neck was still a really bad idea and black lives matter burned down the cities of um, america's major cities remember when uh rayshard brooks was shot after stealing a taser running and then shooting that taser back at police and the police were charged Remember when we were told that police were basically racist Bull Connor types just looking for people of color to take down just for the fun of it? Uh, Well, it turns out that none of these things are true. That as researcher Heather McDonald uh, showed in, in a column about systemic police racism, it's a total myth and, and a destructive one at that. We'll give you some of those numbers uh, coming up here in just a little while from the uh, Heather McDonald article. It's it's pretty amazing. Pretty incredible proof that there's no such thing as systemic police racism. Uh, number five, the presidential election was fair and clean. <laughs> <laughs> sure, not everything alleged by Lynn Wood and Sidney Powell turned out to be provable in court, at least to the satisfaction of a sitting judge. We never saw 
the Kraken, a baby Kraken, or even a Kraken egg. (laughs) But does anyone who voted for Trump really think no shenanigans took place whatsoever in this election? No. You may or may not agree, but my theory has always been uh, they got us with death by a thousand cuts. It was truly the perfect storm, and most of it was done well before the election. Mm Mm-hmm. And they use the coronavirus too. Oh yeah. Uh, by and that's how they pushed the mail-in stuff. The mail-in voting uh, gave them a huge advantage because it's so easy to manipulate and me- mess with that. Uh, yeah, they had the postal service. Period, yeah. Period. They just did. <laughs> I mean, to the point where the union came out to support Biden. And the- I mean that's. There's your first clue, and you have the uh, the letter carriers that testified, but didn't do anything. Yeah, and we j- we we saw so many uh, so many anecdotal stories of uh, huge piles of ballots being found in you know in dumpsters or in ditches, uh, and 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 then the stories of of ballots being brought in in the cover of night three three four o'clock in the morning and republican poll watchers being dismissed and i mean there's just so many stories like that uh that it's just going to be tough for people to 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 get over the fact that uh there was rampant rampant fraud in this election 